vlog. Oh, trimester three, part two. Get to see the nursery, before and after. I'm sat in the nursery right now, thinking I was being really clever by filming in here. The light is pretty bad, so apologies for that. And what else? Yeah, I'm just gonna be talking about NCT, nursery, the big shop. I'm gonna show you everything that I've bought. Any other business, enjoy. This is the spare room, which we are going to turn into the nursery. Just need to show you. So, <laughs> oh, my house looks so bad. Um, we are right in the mix of doing the nursery, so. As you probably remember, it was horrifically bright pink. Oh, oh, it's looking good. So we've emptied it out. That's going to be painted white. Um, and yeah, we've just done, well, I say we. <laughs> Tom's has done the second coat of paint, which is drying now. You can still see it's drying in patches. So it's kind of like a very soft gray. Um, so yeah, that's just the update on the old nursery at the moment. that massive shop um it doesn't actually look so massive but there's loads of stuff kind of scattered all around the house when we went to <clears throat> mother care ikea where else did we go so this is kind of a few of the things that we got that's what it looks like <laughs> i think that's probably gonna be down in the lounge i guess changing mats which is gonna go on here Still obviously in the midst of sorting out the nursery. Blanky. Where do we get it? I think that looks like IKEA. Oh, it's really big actually. Got a bag of nappies, which um yeah, gotta to take to the hospital I think. Press pads and maternity towels. Apparently these are both a necessity. Um these are the things we got free from the doctors, so I need to kind of go through that again. Baby monitor is very important. We've got a BT, what is it? 6,000, so you can control it. Um, but we got one originally and it didn't move, but this one allows you to move it when you're in another room. And like infrared and night vision is that the same thing infrared night vision all the bottle stuff got loads of stuff as well in the sale in mother care it was actually really good we saved quite a lot of money these things oh my god i hadn't even heard of these but someone said you needed to get them nipple shields <laughs> don't even know if i'll end up using them um sterilizer which you can use in the microwave tom's sister said this is an absolute godsend um, and then 
don't know, just those bottles. They seem to be the ones that a lot of people use and obviously they fit in that one that we wanted. Hilda, my pen. Um, then we've got some of the extra things for the pram that we're not going to be using initially. Well, actually, we're not going to be using a lot of the stuff for the pram. Um, this is the car seat. Was that an adapter? I didn't even know car seats could go like in the pram. I literally had no idea. Apparently, most of the time you have a car seat on your pram and not the actual thingy, whatever it's called. Got a seat liner for the pram as well. We bought our. Uh, this is what is that? Is that a car seat? It's just a maxi cozy one, and we've covered it just to stop the cat sleeping in it. And actually, I think we're going to put that in the car quite soon because it will just keep it out of the way. And then something I really wanted um, was just a nappy disposable system from where did we get that? Maybe Mother Care, I think. No. Um, just for I'm quite funny with the smells and bins and stuff. Um, all the stuff I'm moving out. Hello, Herman. <sighs> show you that another time, maybe. That's our baby changing bag. We've washed all the clothes pretty much. Um, so I didn't know that as well, but um, we got told that you need to wash all the clothes we buy, so it's all off the hangers now. Washed, dried, ironed. We've got muslins. Apparently, we need more than that though, actually. We've got um, <clears throat> just two packs of six. So yeah, that's all just the clean clothes ready to kind of be put away. <clears throat> and then a lot of this stuff is the Ikea storage things we've got, which again, I haven't really um, done yet. I think that's quite cute, isn't it? Over there. I've got that fake sheepskin thing from Ikea. Um, only because this chair, honestly, is the bane of my life. I absolutely hate it. It looks like kind of an office chair. It's a swivel one. It is really comfy and it reclines back and it's got that seat thing that goes with it. Um, and is on right now. And this is Tom's favorite chair in the world and I just hated it so much. So I persuaded him in Ikea to buy that yellow new one which we have downstairs armchair which is all really nice and this one I'm gonna use as like a nursing chair even though it's disgusting it's really comfy obviously there's no point throwing it away because it's kind of only it looks like 50 years old but it's actually only about three years old so I'm trying to like basically cover it up with something <laughs> get it reupholstered at some point but not a priority um what else yeah, so clothes, got a nice new towel, oh, there's more clothes in there, love this kind of little storage, soft felt storage thing, got that from Ikea, and yeah, there's more clothes in there, so I need to kind of go through, got a little basket, really love the uh, little hanging thing there, got that from Argos, I think that we got from Ikea, so there we go, I need a whole, probably another full day in here to sort something out. The, cot, the cot's going to go in the corner, need a rug, need a new lampshade, need to set that alight. Um, I just don't know, all this is going out. This is just like dumping stuff which was in here, so I think I'm going to put it up in the attic. Oh, I don't know whether to chuck anyway, blah, blah, blah. That's kind of a lot of the stuff that we've just bought, basically. I've just woken up from a mega nap. Oh my god, that's why I like... I don't know what's going on. Um, so we had the NCT class, the first one this morning. Oh, it was really full on. I literally had to come home and go straight to sleep because it was exhausting. Um, it was actually better than I expected. I was expect. oh I don't know what was I expecting, but like there was only five couples there and all of the other people seemed really, really nice. I was expecting like maybe there to be like one couple who we might kind of see again, but it kind of 
I don't know how you say you might see them and then probably never will but yeah everyone seemed really nice it was actually quite funny um, and a lot of people do say about NCT it's kind of like a waste of time it's really basic it's really patronizing but I think for people like myself um, who literally know nothing I think it's probably a really good thing well I'll tell you what I think after the whole course we've got two more days but yeah it kind of does take you through it in baby steps and a lot of it you kind of do know but it's actually quite good to hear from someone who obviously knows what they're talking about and then also it's just nice to know that a lot of people are in exactly the same boat as you and literally don't know fuck all either so one of the other couples I don't know what's happened here is that a fake tan I can see like a line or oh, have I slept off my makeup one of the other couples are going to the same hospital as us um, which is actually quite good because like I've previously said I've had really little experience of going there I went there once and they don't do any ward tours or anything like that so it was actually quite nice because they're a bit more familiar with it so they were kind of just kind of putting me at ease a bit it's not as bad as probably what I'm thinking in my head and it was just nice to hear uh, yeah, other people having the same kind of problems and worries and experiences. Pretty full on, but that's exactly what we kind of want, just like a crash course for dummies. I'm really tired still, so I'm just going to have a really chilled out rest of the evening. And that's it. Wednesday today I'm just doing a little update on NCT so a lot of people in fact most people told me not to bother with NCT I really nearly didn't bother and the only reason we actually did do NCT NCT classes is because I wasn't very happy with the care I was getting from my midwives at the time if you haven't watched any of the other vlogs basically they weren't offering us any free classes at all which everyone else I know has been offered something even a two-hour thing whatever just as a little intro into what the fuck to do when you first have a baby like the only thing they offered us was a hundred and forty pound one day course or nothing I had a really bad feeling about my midwives at the time and the thought of having to pay them 140 pound to do what should be a free course um, just didn't sit very well with me so we paid a little bit extra but instead of one day it was two and a half days at NCT so that just made sense to us Bottom line is, we were really, really happy. We learnt loads and we're both really, really happy that we did it. The lady who took the course was really, really nice, very helpful. She sent us so much information. We did everything from what you need to do to prepare for birth. We didn't know anything about hormones. There's something called oxytocin. I've never even heard of the damn thing. And it's just ways of preparing for birth and what you should be doing and techniques and just kind of reassuring you that you can do this. Then you did things from breastfeeding, changing a nappy, which is actually one of the things I was really kind of curious about because no clue, so I practiced changing a nappy on a dummy. Bathing, and just real basic shit like what you need to look after a baby. She so just really brought it back to basics. I feel honestly so much better. I feel like I could probably look after a baby for a couple of hours without something going really badly wrong. So that's a start. So this is the maternity ball, um, which I'd kind of seen, but I didn't really know much about them. And Sandra, our lovely NCT um, lecturer, lecturer, teacher, but I think she had three in, so we could kind of try them out. And actually I found it so comfortable. And they're the same, they're fit balls. The last time I actually used one of these, I did have one at university, back in the good old days where I used to play netball and we used to do some training on these. And I've got, I think this is the biggest size because I'm tall, I'm like five foot nine. Um, so this is the biggest one, I think it's 75. Use my Nana slippers. Um, 
honestly it just makes me feel a lot comfortable because it's a good position to have what is it your hips higher than your knees basically the baby is in position anyway i think i've told you that but it's just to keep everything good and moving and all that kind of crap i'm just checking in it is now thursday wednesday thursday it's thursday and on tuesday i rang my midwives um just to say that i've had reduced movement as in it just wasn't it i'm so bad i still put it she wasn't kicking as much sorry by the way my room is an absolute fucking state yeah i just had reduced movement which is a really like they take it very very seriously they just told me to go uh ring the hospital rang them they said just come straight in and then they just basically do monitoring uh which is they just strap you up to some machine and then they monitor the baby's heart rate and movements and it was all fine oh. what are you doing why are you crying hey oh, he wants treats oh here we go so yeah they strap you up to a machine and monitor everything and long story short i just had to go back the movements were fine. Obviously she started kicking about half an hour into the monitoring and I looked like a right dick. But then the heart rate they noticed wasn't quite stable enough for what they like. Anyway, the doctor wanted me to go back again yesterday for more monitoring, so off I went and I was literally up there for about six hours on and off this machine. And anyway, we had to go up again today and so we went up as early as we could because I just didn't want to spend the whole day sitting around in that hospital again on the machine and luckily this time uh it was a bit more stable that's Herman messing about he's like knocking my props to shit and thinking they're toys but anyway everything was fine the doctor was happy the midwife's happy to send me home so that's the end of that everything is absolutely fine although i don't like hospitals i'm glad that i went up there a we needed to do a practice run to see you know the drive and different times so that was quite good and the parking and where we could park and actually all the midwives up there were really really nice and that's the first time i'd met any of them um so i felt just yeah a lot happier i know where i'm going now i haven't obviously seen the labor wards because it's in a slightly different area but i know where the labor wards are we know where we have to drop me off so yeah and obviously it's just nice to know that everything is good and they're really kind of on the monitoring situation now just kind of back to normal movements are fine kicking all the time and yeah so everything is fine have to show you <laughs> the sleeping situation with the pillows so tom is obviously on this side and then this is the monstrosity over here that is me like the sleeping situation <sighs> brace yourselves i have got under here a wealth of pillows <laughs> in different formulas and shapes so that's the i think that's a typical pregnancy pillow but i don't sleep with all of these by the way every night i either sleep with the pregnancy pillow and one other pillow or the other pillows. The pregnancy pillow at the moment I'm not sleeping with because it's a bit hot. So I get really flustered. That's not very well made. Um, so pregnancy pillow is off and then this is kind of actually how I sleep now. So I have one, two, those go either side of me. Then I've got the boomerang thing, which I think is actually a nursing pillow. That goes in between whichever side I'm on under my legs so if I'm over on this side the belly goes on there then that flips over and my legs knees go either side of that and then that's just my pillows at the top so one, two three four five pillows that's how I'm sleeping at the moment or the pregnancy pillow but as I said it's a bit hot at the moment for that you wanting some attention Tom is pretty livid because he ends up being like bunched right along the side. It's just, yeah, there we go. Sleeping situation. So hospital bags are ready to go. I've already shown you through there. And then obviously we've completely changed the color. It was that 
horrendous bright pink stripey shit. Um, I'll put a picture up now to remind you. So I've done some really quick DIY kind of decor here. Painted these, a bit wonky, but just needed a bit of color up on there. This chair will be going, I think I'm gonna get a set of drawers here. Uh, underneath is, used to be my mum's. It's, I don't really know what it is, but it's a really lovely kind of pine thing and it might be good for storage, but I don't want to chuck that and kind of a bit sentimental with that. So at the moment it's living under there. Mirror is going to be going up on the wall and Tom can be asked to put it up. My favorite thing is only from Argos, but it's this um, little mini kind of, what do you call it? Not a wardrobe, hanging thingy. Then fireplace, Tom painted, I think. I can't remember the color it was before actually. Um, and then I just hung this kind of thing. I was going to put pictures in it, but I haven't really got any nice pictures. So I've kind of just, I made these pom-poms um, and then just a few of the flowers that I had uh, from, what was it, Hobbycraft, I always get these little flowers. And then I just kind of zhuzhed up the fireplace a bit with some little bit of candles and my little favorite trainers. Loving those little things. Um, this is one of my old teddies from when I was younger. Obviously you need to have by read a candle and nursery, don't you? Candles, I don't really know why. They were in there when it was spare room. Um, and it kind of goes with the colour, but I might get something nicer to put in there. This thing we got from um, Mother Care. But I think it is something, I don't think it would go in here. I think you put it down, would it go down in the lounge maybe? That was a bargain. That was like £15 from 50 When we went in, I actually thought they'd made a mistake because all of the other ones were still full price. So I just grabbed it and yeah, it's £15 from 50 Get some is it rabbit or cat. It's a rabbit. Then I've got, okay, so my house gets really fucking cold in the winter because there's no double glazing. So we have extra radiators in all the rooms so this one it will come out here i think if it gets cold who knows where i'll put it um and then this is just the extra buggy stuff so what, what is it seat fabric i don't really know we've got some liner seat liner car key and i think that's the actual seat um so yeah these are antique a uh, set of drawers, these were my mum's and they don't particularly go in this room but I really like them, they were in here when it was the spare room and I don't want to paint them uh, because they're pine and I like the colour and I know when we move house you know, I hope you have a place for them but I'm just going to use this as like a changing table slash storage so I've got that, is that a changing mat? I've just kept it in its plastic because just to keep it clean. And this was my mum's. This is the inside of an Ikea drawer. I cut it out just so the products would kind of sit up. So there's like baby products there. I'm not gonna be using them straight away because apparently you don't actually need to use anything like this on a baby until, well, maybe later on. But there's like soothing, moisturizing creams, barrier cream, there's massage oil. What the fuck, this baby's gonna get massage? This is more for me. I put Jolique, the rose water spray there and actually just the hand cream for me as well. I don't know why, who knows, but I've just got a few bits there. In here, this is kind of like a bit of a mismatched drawer at the moment. Um, odds and sods, bits and bobs, and my manuals for everything that I've bought. And also a manual for like things like this. When I'm like, how the fuck? Does this swaddling blanket work? So all the instruction leaflets in there. Put in here, okay, extra nappies. This is for the bin, nappy bin, which I'll show you in a minute. This I'm really proud of because this is organized. So this is all the changing stuff. I've got nappies galore. I've got cotton, wool, nappy bags, maternity pads for me, breast pads for me, baby kind of, what is that? And I got these free from the doctor. Um, a dummy that came with my bottles, which are down in the kitchen. Nipple guards or nipple shields. Don't really know much about them, but someone did say they're a life saviour, so I got them. Water wipes, I bought a big 
kind of pack of those, set of four. One of the other packs is in my hospital bag. More nappies, more nappies. These are the ones I've mentioned before in my other video for my hospital bag. Hi Hilda. Um, these are from Audi and they're bargain and apparently they're really, really good nappies. Like two pound for 44. In there right, bargain hunters. Um, and actually down here is nothing to do with baby. That's still my kind of stationary kind of thing. I haven't got a room for that in the house at the moment. So the bottom drawer is staying as kind of basically my junk. Hilda, what are you doing under there? It's, I don't even know how she squashed herself under there. Stupid girl. Tom put up some shelves above there. Can I zoom out? No. Tom hasn't done a bad job, but they're not gonna hold a lot. I thought I'd put clothes and stuff on here, but they're actually not very secure shelves. So I've kind of put it as a more decorative thing slash with a bit of actual things that I might need. Um, pile of muslins there, cute little uggies that my friend gave me. Aurelia gifted me this amazing box um, with some of their products, which I've got there. And I just really love that trunk. Is it trunk? I don't know, suitcase. And then a little, that was my bunny from when I was young. I bought that one uh, for, oh my God, I was gonna say it. <laughs> I've gotta stop calling my baby it. I bought that for the baby. The baby, it, the thing. Um, little candle holder thing, little fake plant. And just kind of, yeah, basically crap that I'm not really, Gonna have much use for except this blanket's really nice actually my friend got me this from sweden and it's gonna be really handy it's a pram blanket really nice and thick wool so that'll be good for winter when it gets colder one of my old teddies <laughs> that's an empty box at the moment i've got nothing to put in it and some fake flowers just to give it a bit of color amazing trainers but they're not for like six months plus that's all my stuff in in there and on there so clothes wise, I've kind of put some under there, in there, and then I've got them hanging here. I've also got another bag of stuff, which is for kind of older, because I got loads of stuff in the next sale, and some of it was six months plus. Just a lot of kind of suits. Obviously, I think I've shown you what I've got in my hospital bag, which is just a lot of the sleep suits. Um, a lot of people are asking me about this, which is my baby carrier. It's from Bill Amberg. It is absolutely beautiful and I can't wait to try and use it because apparently they're quite hard work to actually get the baby in. We've also got a hand-me-down Bjorn, was it Bjorn something? One of them. Bjorn baby, uh, which might be a bit easier. But clothes wise, we've got, oh shit, look at that. Mixture of colors. This is quite cute. Um, what happened here? Oh yeah, so Tom, we were in mother care and Tom chose his favorite dress, which is this. We bought it and we realized we were like, that's really fucking small. Anyway, it's for basically a really tiny, tiny baby. So I took the, oh, oh I ripped that off as well. These hangers don't work very well. Um, but I took the label off, washed it before we kind of realized, but we went back and bought the real size, which is, I think not to three months. So that was Tom's favorite dress. Loads of stuff from Next. I did write on my Instagram, I think a couple of days ago, about the best places for baby stuff. And everyone was saying Next. And honestly, there's one just open near me. I'm in there like twice a week and they've always got really good stuff. So yeah, I think this is from Next as well, yeah. Cleaned it all. That's one thing I didn't realize as well. So you've got to clean all this stuff before they wear it. So I've cleaned and ironed it all. Um, lot of neutral stuff, like these are boys. Boys leggings, and I think mother-in-law will have a heart attack, but I quite like the whole unisex vibe. Do have some pink things, obviously you can see, but we're not going for a full wardrobe of pink. These are cute, I think they're Jules Oliver. In mother care, she does something. And uh, yeah, just a few snazzy things. Um, I've got a blankie in there, that one I got from Ikea in my little shop. Then I've got just excess things here, loads of vests. I've got like 20 of these vest things. 
I think that goes under there actually. My friend got me some stuff, more leggings. So that's kind of just a mixture of clothes in there. Under here, I just got another blanket. My friend sent me that one. I think it's an American flag, it's quite cool. And then these are more, what did I put in this one? I've got bibs, shoes, swaddling, hat, <clears throat> very girly. Obviously has to have the taste and trainers that his mum's got, tacky and a bit grotesque. Got some little slip on -y things, these are, what are they, swaddling, bibs, and then yeah, some shoes and oh, socks I think as well I've got in there. Socks and hats and bibs and just all kinds of crap in there. Behind the door. This is the nappy bin. It is, what is it, Tommy Tippy, I think? But just the thought of having, I don't know much about nappies or how it works, but it's some kind of disposable unit that you put them in and you don't have to keep putting them outside or something. Anything that's gonna prevent smell and mess is good for me. And also we've got cats, so I don't want cats kind of, you know, trying to get into nappies or shit like that. Um, this is kind of the messy side of the room here at the moment um this is kind of like what i'd call a nursing chair but it's just tom's old chair which i absolutely fucking hate but it will just be really good because it is actually really comfy and it kind of leans back quite a lot so i could sleep in it in theory if i needed to come in so yeah that's i don't like it at all but it's just going to be useful for the time rug as well by the way is ikea and it's really annoying because it's really thin so it keeps on crumpling up and then yeah this is still got to be done i've got three canvases down there which i'm going to paint and put up on the wall because it's looking very plain in this corner so at the moment the moses basket is here if you follow me anywhere you'll know that herman has taken a real liking to this um so what i've done i've taken all the bedding out this is some maternity like a pillow which I don't think I'm going to use anywhere I actually got it free with an Amazon order and then I've just put a towel in to protect it so what I'm going to do is take everything out I'm going to get one of those thingies you know the thing you put on your clothes to get rid of all the cat hair and then I'm going to remake the bed again I've got all the um, uh, sheets and stuff in here but this is where the cot's going to be going in the corner here so we're planning on having the baby sleep with us in the room which is next door um so this will be out and then the cot will be in the cot we've ordered is from Moki, but it takes like six weeks to arrive so we ordered it a couple of weeks ago so that's going to come in and then this awful looking plastic thing is going to be storage for underneath and likewise of this basket so those both will go underneath the cot we've got a hand-me-down baby rocker thing tom's out in the garden pretending he's doing work i think he's just gone out there to get rid of me we need as well so we're waiting on the cot and curtains at the moment we've got the blind which is really good once a blackout one so it comes down but like I said, this place gets quite cold in the winter, so we want some nice thick curtains to go up. And a nice colour. I don't want any more pink, because the cot is kind of going to be a bit pinky. And there's quite a lot of pink going on in here. So I'm thinking maybe a nice kind of orangey or maybe blue, like this kind of tealy blue, maybe. Look how brown I am. Oh my God. I look incredible. I got this tan, which I'm gonna show you, from St. Moritz, and I was like, there's probably a reason why they're selling it for 2 .99, but I'm gonna try it. So you've probably seen this before, this is my makeup room, and it's a little bit of an atrocious mess at the moment. Yeah, it kind of is, but actually, I don't know. Yeah, it's... It's pretty bad. Anyway, this tan, I was thinking this is gonna be the worst, but I do like a spray tan, medium. This is the shit. It's really hard to apply. Like people who aren't good with tanning, don't go near it. 
but if you use it with a mitt and just spray it straight onto the mitt it, you go a you go really dark and it does look a bit streaky but once you wash it off it's pretty damn good for 2 dollars as well anyway that's that I didn't realize how tanned I look oh, so that's the nursery and the tan um I'm really happy with it actually it's literally my favorite room of the whole house just because I guess I've painted it myself and I say myself Tom did all the painting he did a really good job on it but just I've picked everything out myself and I really like it I didn't realize as well that babies don't just sleep straight away in their own room apparently they're with you for like months so Moses will come in with us this will just be more like a changing room I guess I can come in here fingers crossed if breastfeeding is working out for me I can come in here in the night and kind of just use it as a little bit of a area, baby area. of my pregnancy we've had highs we've had lows quite a lot of lows at the beginning but it's just got better and better actually in all respects my belly has popped like my husband went away for like two nights a few days ago um, and as soon as he came back he was like you look massive <laughs> and I'm not offended but a lot of people get offended when people say they look really big when they're pregnant um, I don't know but I had I think it's dropped a bit but I don't know that's where we are now still haven't got stretch marks although I'm still prepared a lot of people say they literally just pop out at the last minute so we shall see sleeping is really really hard I think I've shown you my pregnancy pillow in the setup I've literally got six pillows pretty much all around me trying to support my back so I'm trying to support my belly just up all the time peeing so sleeping is getting tough but yeah I get just very I'm kind of always moving around if I'm sat at a desk if I'm working I'm constantly kind of moving around trying to find a position that I'm comfortable in fanny aches you can feel your pelvis starting to really a lot of pressure on it the head's down basically just like fanny ache been feeling quite good in myself been trying to keep active and keep walking no gymming I'm not swimming anymore I'm kind of just basically waiting for it to happen now and I'm practicing practicing with Hildy I don't know if I could love anything more than cats if I'm honest um, but yeah feeling really positive hospital bears are literally there ready in front of me a few pictures left to paint obviously I did some painting for nursery I'm feeling really good it's just what everyone waits for and is kind of anxious about is literally the pain of what is about to happen. I'm a strong person, I can do it, I know I can, but people love to tell you horror stories. It's not gonna be nice. I'm just looking forward to now it actually being over and just trying to get it all started. Um, names, we actually still have not got a name. Everyone's asking me about names, even my family, and I'm like, I'm not being a dick and saying I don't know, I literally do not know. 4am last night I was kind of going through this app on my phone trying to find a name. So I really, really want to include my mum's name somehow in it, but we'll see. But yeah, so I'm assuming next time you see me I'll have a little Klingon in tow. I'm still working out how much baby stuff I'm going to show online. Um, I do keep, I know a lot of people think anyone who does YouTube and social and blogs literally give everything away, but I, there is so much of my life that I don't give away and I'm still quite unsure about the baby situation and I know I'm just going to know how I feel at the time, so I'm just going to wait and see. I'm not going to say, oh, I'm not going to show any pictures and, you know, all of a sudden I might want to show everything. I'm just going to wait and see how I feel about it. Yeah. Wish me luck. Yeah.